Here, you want this? Sandwich? That's my shoe. Yeah, I use it for walking. Hey guys, here's the big Lebrowski coming in again with another video about Boogie2988 doing something extremely stupid just to get some attention. Well, but actually this time he was not to blame because for a change he did nothing wrong. Well, kinda. And this time the one we have to blame for wanting to pull our eyes out of their sockets due to the cringe that is, it was Kimster. So a few days ago the LOLCOW live podcast decided to make a camping trip to stream during the weekend. Originally it was supposed to be only Boogie and Wings, but Kimster ended up joining them. But Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the absolute worst podcast on the entire YouTube.com. You are watching Lol Cow Live Special Edition. Camping, scared stupid. Gentlemen, are you ready? So the dynamic of the camping trip was that Boogie and Wings would have to do some challenges to entertain people watching the stream and so Kimser put them to do some physical activities like for example setting up a tent which was a total failure. Wait, something's clearly wrong here. This one does not go to that. All right, um, fuck me, this is dumb. Yep. How about we destroy the tent and sleep in the cabin? This is actually retarded. Anyway, so after failing miserably on the tent setup, the next challenge that Kim had for Wings and Boogie was chopping some wood. Coming along. Don't. It's good. Mm. Don't. God damn it. Come on, Jordy. I'm good, bud. Grab the axes. <laughs> Boogie can barely stand up, dude. I would feel bad for him if he wasn't a lying sack of shit. Continue. Tight cop of the axe game over here. So, since it was taking forever for the big boys to chop through that log, Kim decided to throw them a hand and gave them the shittiest wood cutting saw I have ever seen. Now! So again, after failing miserably, which is understandable, I mean imagine having to chop wood when you are that out of shape. Like Boogie and Wings be looking like the boogeyman from the Nightmare Before Christmas dude. <laughs> ashes to ashes and dust to dust. So yeah, anyway, some guy came with a chainsaw and chopped the log almost through for them to finish the job. And I forgot to mention that the whole point of these challenges was that the loser would have to sleep on a tent with TTS on the whole night. We've announced that there's going to be a challenge between Wings and Boogie. And through a series of challenges, the winner will get to sleep in the Airbnb. The loser will sleep in the fucking tent. Now with TTS on all which tent? night Long. So at the end, Boogie ended up losing the challenge, obviously because no one would give a shit about Wings sleeping on that tent. So a script star communicated Wings about the results. Well, I got good news and bad news. The bad news is one of you have clearly lost. The good news is it's Boogie. <laughs> Buggy, you lost. You're sure. sleeping in the fucking tent. Sure. And it's not that I fucking lost. I promise you that. Anyway, Boogie then accepted his fate and went to sleep on that tent and that would be only the start of his nightmare because not only he wouldn't be able to sleep due to the TTS but also everyone would mess with him the whole night. MK Ultra super chatted $32.81. Whoever produced that mattress deserves the highest honor in science and engineering. Right? Also, Boogie, yeah. can you roll off and hit the ground so we can miss work tomorrow? No. Good luck, Boogie 77777777. 777 Seven 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 seven. How many fucking sevens did you type? Who ate all the pies? Who ate all the pies? M O. 
Oh, what the f is that? W, you ate all the pies, Moo W. <laughs> what the f is that? <laughs> that dono was so stupid, dude. Exactly what you would expect of the average lol cow live dono. But it wasn't only Chad messing with Boogie that night, because apparently even the forest demons and skinwalkers wanted to do everything possible to annoy the hell out of our fat friend. Last night I took a crap and clogged the toilet man, ha ha ha. I just let it overflow cause I'm fat and lazy like you, ha ha. Shout to my boy Big Daddy Blanche. He's a big fan, haha. -ha. Peace out, man. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck is that? I have no idea. Are you hearing that? I did. It came from over there, and then it came from over there. <laughs> Fucking mock man, dude. I don't think the Mothman screams. <laughs> you could see the horror in Boogie's face. Anyway, but the night kept going and every time Boogie was about to fall asleep, someone would come on frame to mess with him and keep him awake. The f*** was that? The f***? The f***? The f*** is that? Seriously, what the f*** is that? Is that hail? Apples. Apples? Who the f is throwing apples? God damn it, I was almost asleep. The demons. The demons? After that, Boogie thought that he could finally go to sleep, but he was wrong. Because for whatever reason, Kimstar came back, blasting the red hot chili peppers on his cyber truck to wake up Boogie again. It's me, Murdoch. Just wait until I become a producer. We gonna have y'all do some crazy stuff. Plus that leg looks like it's about to What the fuck? Hi, Buggy. If I drive Boog, what do I do? That motherfucker almost ran me over. Did you see that? God fucking damn it. Here comes this fucking no fuck again. Go to fucking sleep. After that, Boogie's hellish night would only get worse because Kim brought his drunk ass friends and not only they ruined the stream, but they also did some nasty stuff to Boogie. Who the f is this? What's going on? Yeah, we're just watching a fat guy sleep. Who the f are these people? We're the internet. No. And no joke, these people were a real mood killer. You know, like that weird uncle that's always getting drunk at the family gatherings and making everyone uncomfortable. This one. This one. This one. No. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? What the fuck? Go fuck with the guy in the bed. Get off me. Are these people? Anyway, it's kind of funny because they actually foreshadowed what was later going to happen during that stream. Shut the f up! The fat guy is with the Shut the f up! Shut the f up! <laughs> Damn right. We're gonna fucking hump you. Bitch. Who the f are you? <laughs> and so the main villain of this story would make his appearance, the drunk caveman, as he would later be baptized. Yeah, we're we'll filming. Shake him to see if he's alive. Yeah, we're fucking live streaming to five thousand people that's right now. What the fuck? That's my like, fuck. That's a medical device. Can your girlfriend oh, that's a medical, it's your my like medical a device. I don't care. That's my fucking, who the fuck are you? Don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Who the fuck are you? I don't fucking know who you. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Get the fuck off. I don't fucking know you. Twenty-five dollars. I don't. Can know you. Boogie, 999, 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 Boogie, 999
chicken bake or double chunk chocolate. So yeah, as you could see, the guy was really drunk and being really touchy with Boogie for no reason. Well, I guess he thought that was funny, but most people didn't find it so. Anyway, despite the chat donating and saying that they should get those people off the stream, Kim didn't seem to get the memo and he let his friend have his way with Boogie. Like that, I bet you make a fortune on OnlyFans. Oh, god damn it! Who the f are you? Why is your dick on me? Why did you want to put your fing dick on me? I don't want to feel your fing. Why is it hard? Why is your dick hard? Get your fing hard dick off me. Get your hard fucking cock off me. I don't want your fing cock. And things only got worse from that point on because that guy's wife decided to join the party. Sure relations, grab it. You. Grab it. I'm not touching this fucking stranger's fucking. Ah. Uh, Bali uh, super uh, charger, twenty six dollars and twenty five cents. Are One you for his me. wife? One Get for the fucker in the background. Hard cock out of my mouth. Oh my Jesus Christ, man. Look, I get it. You're a homosexual. You're afraid to admit it. Find somebody else. I ain't your fucking boyfriend. But if you thought that this couldn't get any worse, well, you better think twice because that drunkard was really into Boogie apparently and he let his latent homosexuality go wild. There's nothing wrong with latent homosexuality, but you might want to find yeah. somebody. Brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, man, I can, I'm glad I can help no, you explore no, your latent homosexuality, okay? Tim Super chatted $25. There's nothing wrong with you, There's nothing wrong with you, okay? Said Just King be didn't to pay him. It, okay? Said he was going ah. broke, was Just offered 70 k to show so his medical sexy. records, and he fucking choked. That's when I'm That's oh, boogie, boogie, there. why you lying to yourself? <laughs> last time you had young Okay. Oh, yesterday. Not for that girl, you didn't. <laughs> and I mean the guy just wouldn't stop like for real I don't know what was with him and Boogie but he just couldn't get his hands off him and for whatever reason he just kept rubbing on him like a freaking animal dude it might be a good thing so you didn't love you're gonna be okay hey careful those are my glasses there. do you need some love I mean I'd just rather you kept your dick oh. out of my mouth but... oh oh it's called the hair you like that sure Look, man, there's nothing wrong with being gay. You just can't do it to me, all right? Suck somebody else's dick. Ah. Ah. Oh, that's actually good for my back. Can you do a little lower? Yeah, let me work on it. A little lower. It. I'm working on it. Ah. I like the part where ah. your dick's not on me this time. Thanks for that. Oh, my dick's pointing up. Good. Karen, do you want to come join the party? Get in here. Whee! That's your wife? Who do you want this? Sandwich? That's my shoe. Yeah, I use it for walking. <laughs> Anyway, so after that, the chat would start harassing those idiots and blaming Kim so they could bully off stream. Or super chatted $49.99. The drunk Neanderthal and the wine box lady are kind of weird. Yeah. It makes sense that they are Keem's fry ends. Yep. One more super chatted $25. Thanks for fixing Is anyone else thing. surprised yeah, none of Keemstar's that. friends understand about Can boundaries and not keeping their f***ing hands uh, off people? I so I weird. $26.25. Okay. Oh, your hair is not Get these alcoholic weirdos like out of here. Mr. Jock Strap I mean, super chatted $25. Who cut that old hag's yeah. hair? Yeah, she's Stevie Wonder? <laughs> Damn, that last one was rough, dude. But he did get the job done because shortly after, the drunks left the stream for good. Anyway, so the next day of the stream, Kimstar addressed the whole SA situation because he was not happy about it, saying that people are dumb for thinking that Boogie was actually SA. Keen, what the hell was that last night on Boogie's poor self? I will talk about that, you know. Uh, well, you I want to talk about the SA allegations? Boogie was assaulted it's the number one story in the country right now so we have like people our own age right like yeah. I'm, I'm in my early 40s people in their like late 30s and bo boogies like a fucking dinosaur how old are you 50 50, I'm 50. all right 50 years old right yeah. so those people saw the drunken caveman and the uh, wine box lady and they were like laughing right everyone younger oh, than that lie. was like oh my oh, god an oh, essay oh. happened assault happen keemstar's running some ditty party and like oh, 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 sorry come here 
Dude, it, it was a whole ordeal. So yeah, Kim and Boogie basically just downplayed what happened in that stream, which I think is a huge L. No and I way, there was nothing dude. bad that it we was... had such a great stream, and yeah, yeah that was bad content. Yes, it, it was, was bad cringe. content. It was, but like, dude, there's no fucking way that was your takeaway from the whole stream. Like, oh, Kim let Boogie get assaulted. But Kim, it's a fucking drama. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I know how to take a joke, and I'm also not one of those Gen C and Gen Alpha that get offended by absolutely everything, but let's say that instead of Boogie that was a woman, imagine how much different this whole situation would have been. I assure you that if that would have been a woman, this stream would have been all over the place, and the SA allegations would be all over YouTube and Twitter, but since it was a fat man that faked cancer, no one really gave a shit. And again, don't get me wrong, Boogie kinda deserves all of the bad things coming his way, because all of that he has done, but still, SA is not cool dude. Anyway, I can't say that I'm surprised, I mean we all know Kimster and Boogie, as long as they make money they don't really care, and they actually made a lot of money during that whole weekend. So yeah chat, I don't know what do you think about all of that, but I think it was hilarious but also really sad. Anyway, that is it for today's video, and you better don't let the greed get to the astronomical levels of Kim and Boogie, because that's just bad dude. Subscribe, like, and comment, or else Boogie will go to your house, to your fridge, and then he will eat all of your food. I am the big Globoroski, take care, and I'm out. That's what they, that's how the show fucking. Come on, buddy. What the fuck was that?